in the incessant search for energy sources. The invention of the steam engine changed the face of the earth. A principal source of power during the British Industrial Revolution in the 18th century, the steam engine opened up a whole new world. It connected people and built economic and social relations cutting across class, caste, language and religion. Indian Railways takes pride in preserving some of the oldest locomotives in the world. EIR 22 The Fairy Queen is a part of the allure of India's heritage that once tied this vast nation together. She has been revived again by Northern Railways to give a peep into an era of past with a view to promote steam heritage tourism. Every real enthusiast recalls the lives and times of a bygone era. The lonesome call of a distant steam engine. Shades of memories that linger on have always entranced dreamers, intrigued authors and inspired filmmakers. Indian Railways is proud to present the fascinating story of the extinction and revival of the oldest running steam locomotive in the entire world. EIR 22 The Fairy Queen She is a remnant of the past, quaint and themed in history. Certified by Guinness Book of World Records as the world's oldest working steam locomotive. One would think that a train so old would have withered, gone to pieces and died a natural death by now. It could have. But the Fairy Queen has spirit. The exceptional care taken by Indian Railways has retained this precious 163-year-old Queen. She was born in 1855 in faraway London, built by Kitson, Thompson and Hewitson at Leeds. She was brought from England to Calcutta, now current-day Kolkata, in 1855 by sea. On arrival, she operated without a name, initially to haul mail trains in West Bengal, operating between Howrah and Raniganj. During the 1857 struggle for independence, she was converted into a troop train. And then, at age 40, in 1895, she was finally christened Fairy Queen. She was then consigned to line construction duty in Bihar. She was pulled out from active duty in 1908 and then placed on a pedestal in front of Howrah Station in 1909. There she languished till 1942. She was shifted to another pedestal at Railway School of Transportation at Chandosi, now a zonal training school. That is where she stood in stoic silence. Newer trains with better technology had arrived. She was shifted to the National Rail Museum in Delhi in 1972, where she unwillingly relinquished and sighed, missing her good old days as visitors gazed at her royal personage with awe. She thought she would be just another thing of beauty in the museum forever, until a bright young railwayman, Mr. Ashwani Lohani, a man with vision to prove to the world that things can change if the right efforts and pain is put in with faith. He rediscovered her once again, saw her intrinsic value and decided to bring Fairy Queen back to life. Mr. Lohani consulted T.R. Raghunandan, another steam enthusiast who provided him the content for the cosmetic restoration. The turnaround man, as he's famously called, along with his enthusiastic team, brought her back to her original glory. In 1997, the craftsman did major rebuilding on her. She was then brought to her new home, the steam loco shed at Trivari in Haryana. The world's oldest locomotive was brought back on Indian track. She returned to commercial service between Delhi and Alwar in Rajasthan, 
with a stopover at Sariska Tiger Reserve. Fairy Queen is currently hauling steam express train running between Delhi Kant to Ribari on every second Saturday from October to April.